I found a little toad. Well, actually, you did, but oh, oh, come here. Okay, that's let the little guy go. There he is. Oh, oh there he goes off into oblivion. Go on, somewhere safe. Wow, this is incredible. I cannot believe how fast time progresses along with plants that actually grow with a rather short duration of time. And this is what we have planted so far. It's a couple of herbs and spices and mixes. Mostly plants, if anything else. But this is as a result of it for the past, I believe, two weeks now, two or three weeks of planting this. Could you believe how much this had actually grown within a duration of two weeks time? It sprouted up a lot. You can see it here. I'm proud of our project. This is all from the work of Jen and myself. I give her credit because she's been maintaining it. And so have I. I've been providing it water every day and you see this little stick right right there that is actually what we have purchased from the store as of a couple days ago we had planted inside of the inside of the plant here it's a uh, nutritional sticks it help pro helps provide nutrition <laughs> so what is this moose moose say where oh moose big sexy moose no no <laughs> You're being replaced as a co-partner. Aww. Well, this is definitely a cute moose right here. And there's Jen here. My moose. Your moose. I wish we could take that moose home. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so I rub my nose. I'm Rocky and Bullwinkle. Wow, there's a rainbow out here, right after it rained outside. There's the clouds here, there's a rainbow here. I'm always fascinated by the atmosphere and astrology, and especially with everything that has to deal with our galaxy, with our celestial stars and our atmosphere it always was something that inspired me so much this isn't crazy this is insane <laughs> oh no a rat terrier is here rat terror i call her <laughs> they're all here begging for my but they can't have one because they got their own treats they actually got spoiled and got organic treats organic peanut butter mm -hmm. natural homemade no, handcrafted, no oreo handcrafted barbecue uh, handcrafted organic peanut dog butter. treats. It's peanut butter flavor. Peanut butter flavor. No, you cannot have. That's his beef jerky. Oh, it's my beef jerky. Or your beef jerky. <laughs> oh, they love. Yeah, Nene's joining the party. No, oh, yo, wee bear Nene. But as you can see here, this is everything inside of there. I'm not sure it's got. Like, it's got beef, onions, tomatoes, I'm assuming it is. So. They love it. They love us. <laughs> so much. Ah! He's <laughs> <laughs> mm. like, mmm, your lips taste like jerky. Beef. Some beef jerky lips? <laughs> Ew, don't let that in your mouth. Ah! Don't do it or I'm not kissing you. <laughs> I think definitely one day I want to get chandeliers just like this hanged above our new house one day. Look at this, it's got like deer antlers. It's interesting enough, it's antiquate. All right everyone, so this is the very next day and I just had completed and finished the work of this is the bathroom in here i had taken out the wall from here which is right here and what had happened was 
the inside of the shower had started leaking. It was, I guess, the, all the water, as acidic water, as acidic as Arizona has in its water system. So I had taken out the back of the wall here with the help of my father and I, our guidance together. I threaded a white tape on her, applied the hot and cold side of the hose on her, connected it together, and this is the shower in here. So, so there was an old, this was an old mobile home, and it's been here for a long time. As quite old as the model was for the home here, this particular of uh, shower faucet here was actually over 10, 10 or 15 years old. Surprisingly, it had lasted that long. So we finally had got this brand new faucet from Home Depot. And there it is here. Everything's hooked up, turned the water supply line back on. And just test this out. Let's see, turn the cold side on. Wow. It's a success. It's been revitalized and re-innovated. Congrats. Now the cleanup process. So, there it is. It's taken a little bit of uh, hard work and a bit of time consuming. However, we had completed it and it was a successful project. We merely had just disconnected both hot and cold sides, the water lines, and attached this little knob on her. So, there you go. Success. All right, namaste, salutations, everyone. This is what I wanted to show to every one of you. We had discovered a, a dead scorpion outside, and we had trapped him inside of this glass container, which he is confined in there. He's already been long dead before, but... What I wanted to show to each and every one of you was this. All right, what I have here is a UV reactive glow light. It's a UV light here. This is what I wanted to show to each and every one of you was this. Is this crazy or what? So if this was pitch black and darkness and this is the most important thing of having a UV reactive light was if you are someone who is hiking if you are hiking along the mountains or in a desert somewhere and you definitely need one of this because when you shine your light over it this is what happens as a result of it you could, it actually lights up to look like a neon green, lime green. This is a, a small baby scorpion. This is truly incredible. That's what it looks like there. So sweetie, what do you have? What is this now? Cinnamon. Cinnamon sticks. Really, they have cinnamon sticks here? Yep. Wow. But the question is if they're natural or not, right? Something like Walmart is self-processed, artificial, genetically modified, for even fries or Walmart. <laughs> this place here is completely natural. Everything's homegrown, farm-raised. Well, not farm-raised, but... Anyway, just everything here, as you see it for yourselves, is natural. Absolutely, perfectly natural. This is everything that they had raised here. Well, raised here and put together. Alright, so this is a variety of, this is yellow corn something I can't remember horsetail tea 
I'm not even sure what kind of tea this is. And what of, what of this tea in particular? If you could guess within the next, give or take five seconds of what this is, or what kind of tea it is, then definitely let me know. Are these both friends? Yes. So. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Have you given up yet? It's camel meal. It's natural camel meal, right? That's what it looks like. Camel meal is basically meant to help you to fall asleep easier and relax your mind and your body. For those of who, such as myself, who have uh, at times, not dyslexia, but what's this called? Um, insomnia. So you would drink camel. That's so weird. It's like an actual like talking deer up here. It's pretty cool. It's like just showing the inside of this arcade place. I love playing these arcade games in here. Wow. This is crazy right here. This is so cool. Oh, look at the cuteness. It's an arctic fox. Oh, I love it. I have a, back in Illinois, I have a cool fox pelt. Big, huge polar bear. You said back in Illinois, what? I have a fox pelt. Some guy I knew, like, I really admired, he gave it to me. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Arctic fox. And I also have an arctic uh, bunny rabbit pelt. Bunny rabbit. Here's a little lake here. View the streaming flow of river of water. Very peaceful. Oh, they got some regular wolves up there. There they are. Wow, this is an incredible lookout. Let's go free. There's a raccoon right there. The the mischievous, devious raccoon. Oh, the raccoon! Wow, I cannot believe. Cannot believe. Tanuki. Tanuki. Cannot believe how incredible in size that that this that moose fish. really is. Hmm? It's a real fish. Oh, there's some fish in there. I'm not sure if you can see them or not. Yeah, you can see them. They're they're all disguised as part of the background. They're all black. See them? You have those fish there. You have more fish over here. And you have again. you have a raccoon. Cute raccoon. Here's a river flow. Hello, fishy. Hey. Beaver. those up there they have those two budding heads for an ox up there oh wow they got a they got a turkey here real grande turkey 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 I love turkeys you can pick them up and hold them and everything I used to have a turkey what are you making what I am making is a special homemade apple cider take apple juice in that case, light, because I like the light kind, because we are calories. And we're going to take... Light apple, apple juice. Oh, no, that's the, That's my dietary medicine. <laughs> that's why I remember you... Whole cloves. I remember you mentioned that you wanted to create some... Your own Best. natural apple cider, right? Oh, yeah. So this is what we, what we picked up from the herbal shop. Are we using both of these? Yeah. Okay, so this one is... What we have orange. What exactly is this again? Cloves. Whole cloves. Cloves. And this one, the other one is cinnamon. Cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks. Okay. What we're going to do here... Okay. Thanks, Dylan, for watching our videos and enjoying our last video for the pasta cooking video so now you're able to watch a brand new installment in our video which is 
crafting our own natural homemade handcrafted apple cider and complimentary to fries <laughs> this is what we got from fries a lot of it all the orange and wow what is that oh <laughs> this is what you do looks like a smiley face <laughs>